Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. In the last episode, we defeated Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, who actually turned out to be very, very easy. Um, so far, these big bosses haven't been too bad. Like, Godfrey... No, not Godfrey. What was his name? Godric. He was... He was fairly difficult, but, you know, not the worst. Uh, she, she was especially easy. Uh, so what I think I said I was going to do is we're going to head back to the round table hold. And I'm just going to take a look around to see if the sort of story uh, is going to be advancing here or anything is going to be happening. Who the fuck are you? D. <laughs> He's called D. Those who live in death should be left well alone. He got the D. Should you spy a mariner among their number? Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. I yeah, I've killed this mariner. He's an NPC quest giver. If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. Sure. Like why not? Okay, D. Yeah. Let's do it. Gurank. This is like some. This is like some fucking. What you call it? Like an assassination quest liner, assuming it's gonna be something like that. Okay, he said a red marking was made on the map. Okay. I have no idea where the fuck he did that. Cool. Well, maybe I'm just stupid. And or blind. But that's okay. All right, D. The map indicates where the gateway is. It will lead you to Garank. Cool. Right, and this guy is back. I figured out this is not the guy that the wolf dude is looking for. He has cool armor. Do they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day. This is also going to be some quest line. All right, good for you. Let's talk to the finger maiden. <laughs> this thing is so weird. I had my doubts, but my look at you. Only once before have I seen two great rooms See? together. Work cool. Today. I love that. I love that that's an NPC. So Queen Marika is 100% the last boss. Who the fuck is Gideon? Oh, nice. I like that. I was just about to say. Okay. 
Uh, what? Receive power? Yeah, okay. Receive power from Remembrance. Uh, what can we get? Carry and Regal Scepter. Si 60 int. Uh, Magic Scepter of Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Uh, only those of the highest intelligence may wield this. You gotta be, you gotta be browsing Reddit slash I am very smart every single day for this. Or be a Rick and Morty fan. And we have Renala's Full Moon. Seven. What are these int stats? Holy shit! Seventy int. Uses the caster as a vessel to incar incarnate the Full Moon. And sends it floating. Oh, that's what the thing she did. Okay. So we can do that. Oh, and okay. That's cool. This is where you purchase their shit. Which is, you know, like, Renala said isn't what I really want. Have we had this dialogue before? I don't even know. I genuinely don't remember, so we're gonna listen to it again. A grim punishment for shattering the order, despite her godhood. The fingers speak. They speak a lot. Yeah, she's 100% the last boss. Okay, fingers. I kind of skipped that last part, but whatever. You 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 get you get what we're trying to say. Uh, yeah, I think like genuinely. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna pop her soul. We can always replicate it. Cause yeah, you, you just get twenty k out of it, which is actually not as much as I thought. And I don't want. Listen. I might just keep Godric's stuff, but then again, I'm like, I'm never gonna use the two things you can get from it. Yeah, it's it's not okay, and that's 40k souls, and I think I have a lot of spare runes as well. So let me, yeah, use a couple of these. Okay, that puts us at 50k. Should be enough for a couple of levels. Uh, let's get this to 20. Yeah, 25. No, no, that's too much. We could always go for the int as well, but I'm gonna push my decks up a little bit. I want to get to at least a point where it's worth having the sort of dex infusion on the weapon. Uh, yeah. And I think that's about it. Let me see. I don't think I can level up any of my weapons. Oh yeah, I can. Hell yeah, we're gonna do the Reduvia and I can... Nice, nice, nice. I can actually do quite a bit here. Cool. That was all useful. Just gonna have a quick run around and then we'll, I don't know, get the hell out of here. Yeah, I need to remember to try out more of the spirit ashes as well to see which one will be like useful in addition to leveling up. <sighs> I'm I'm kind of curious about her Fia. Yeah, uh Fuck it. I wanna see what this does. Are we gonna like I thought she was gonna like breastfeed us or something. Now she kind of does that. Very are are we like getting assaulted here? Balduchin's blessing. Balduchin, okay. Well, that's very nice of you. What does it do? Well, that was a little bit 
freaky what is that oh is that see i see i don't like when people have paintings like that in their house okay well whatever this blessing is i can't find it in my inventory i don't know what it does uh but that's okay that don't matter i think i'm gonna go and talk to mr all-knowing uh i'm just gonna check here as well oh yeah you sell some shit right ah uh, they have a rune arc for 4k uh and also memory stone memory stone is less useful but <laughs> that's pretty cool yeah let's let's buy a rune arc because why not Oh, and before we do anything else, I gotta remember. Yeah, I think this is still the best one. Slowly restores HP. I'm sure I'm gonna pick up something that will be more useful, but for now, that's okay. Well, I see you found another great room. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landel, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau. So we haven't found the Altus Plateau yet, that's the thing. I assume it's like it's gotta be past um the Royal Academy. Cool. Where do I wanna go next? I kind of still want to explore this place as in like there's this whole other side of the swamp or not the swamp but the lake that we've not checked out yet and also a couple of places here so yeah let's let's do that briefly uh and then of course if I find like like a lot of interesting shit I'll do those in an Elden Ring explorations video yeah, like for example, oh, that's Rhea Lucaria. So we kind of want to go this way. There's, of course, the dragon too. Uh, but that dragon is pretty powerful. But I might try him. I might try him. Listen, I've gotten some levels, some levels into my weapon. I swear I'm gonna. What the fuck is up with these things? These things. They're like. Impossible to kill. Hey, look at how much damage that shit. Like, specifically, I deal no damage to him. Weird, weird, weird. I wonder if magic would do better. Whatever. I'm not that interested in killing these things, so. I ain't gonna lose. Sleep. Oh, okay, that's straight up the end of the world. <laughs> cool. There fucking has to be a map place here. Oh, hey. Another jail. Should we? Why not? Cuckoo's ever jail. Fuck it, we'll try it once. I know, I know, I should be progressing and leave this to Elden Ring Explorations, but it don't matter. I can do whatever I want. I'm the boss of this playthrough. You know how it goes. Whoa! Oh! Is this just a... Balls Carrion Knight? His name is Balls? Oh, he has a little armor set on. Whoa, okay. Okay, so none of these carrion knights take like any damage from magic. Uh, lesson learned. Oh wow, this guy is easy as hell. Uh, is he gonna like transform to something crazy? He just seems like a regular giant. Whoa, okay, okay. I knew there was going to be something. Yeah, I can do this. You can't do shit against me. See? Told you. I'm just going to take it safe. 
That was probably the easiest jail so far. Uh, it's, just, it's for a spell. Good to remember. And a couple of thousand souls. Worth it. Worth it for that amount of effort. Plus we got a nice weather pattern. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go up here to the top of the map. Well, no, actually, it would make sense to explore down here. Because at least we know where that links instead of going to someplace completely new. Oh, interesting that that's that far up. Looks like there's some difference in elevation here. Okay, I just got thrown off my horse, which means... There might very well be uh, an NPC invader. Yep. You know it. I got the, the Revenger. This guy played Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. That's cool. I like that game, so... You're cool in my book, Edgar. The Revenger. Uh-oh. And he's doing some revenging for sure. Yeah, I wanted to use my... I haven't used my... Knives in so long. Yeah, trying that shit on me. I'm a professional Elden Ring pvp -er, don't you know? Oh, come on, that... What the f... Okay, that is straight up some cheating ass stamina. Okay, and I'm officially out. I really don't want to die. Two, three, four, five. See, what I'm afraid of is that this fool can heal. Well, if he was trying to heal, he didn't get it off. Shibriri. Oh, this is needed for... And we straight up... Hold on. What do I have this weapon at? Did you straight up give you a plus 8 weapon? What? <laughs> That's really... St That's super strong, actually. Interestingly... Wow, that doesn't even require a lot of stats. That is very... Wow, that is very generous. It it's a it's a halberd, halberd move set. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I love the halberds, uh, back in the Dark Souls one days, and I've just like really like, I don't know, grown out of them. If that's not a stupid way to put it, it's just they just don't appeal to me anymore. No, I'm not a big fan of their move sets. Okay, I keep getting distracted. I'm just gonna go and get back on my path. Interesting. Let's see if this actually pans out into anything or... Well, there is a side of grace here, so we'll hit that up. Quite a few of them actually around here. Nice little choich. Yeah, again, a minor tree too. Converted tower. Yeah, I kind of just read that. Erudition guide D. Cuckoo Glenstone. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Um, listen, that's like the one and only. <laughs> Thing a Souls player thinks of. Just hit it and maybe... You know, I haven't been checking for fucking... Illusory walls, that's for sure. And maybe I should have been. What did I pick up? That was a Cuckoo Glintstone? Yeah. Uses FP to produce a magic bolt. It's just one of these. It really feels like there's something more to this place. 
Interesting, this is like the giant cave here at the end of the lake, or like the source of the lake. With a drawbridge. So there for sure is something here. What the hell is this place? I'm getting distracted again. Hold on, we gotta we gotta find a way to like approach. Cause there's definitely some way to get up there unless this is the other side, so this is like where you're meant to end up. I don't know. It kinda almost seems like it. This area is actually crazy. Like really crazy. Feels like we're discovering something new again. And oh fuck yeah, you know this just reminded me how this game is this game is actually really cool. Village of the Ab Abinorix. Okay. Who oh you. It's you. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. I just got here. Much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. Oh, okay. That's why you're made by men. That's why you're so pissed. But this time I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressed. <laughs> like not even looking at her. What an asshole. She's cool. I mean, she she kind of did okay against Godric, but you know what, Wolfos, come out and play. Are these things even hostile? They are. This is a really cool area, actually. Oh, nice. That's the first respect thing. I'll try not to use this if I, I like, unless I have to. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, it doesn't feel like I've screwed this build up. I am having a fairly okay time. Even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and still your breath. Okay. Uh,. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't feel like I've screwed my build up, but you, with these types of games, you never know. It might turn out that I run into some super hard wall later on and I'll need to respec or something. I hope I won't have to, but you never know. It, just having the option there is... Oh, nice, we can still use our horse. Looks like there's some like big-ass monster over there. Oh, interesting. Are these guys just like... The... Like the runoff from Rhea Lucaria? Albinoric Blood Clot. I'm picking up a lot of interesting items. Dude, this is such a weird tree. You see how it's like bouncing around? Like it's really weirdly bouncing around. Not that it matters. Yeah, see, I knew it. Crystal sword. That sounds kind of good. See, all of these are... 100% things I'm going to be picking up. On the ultimate magic guide. When that's going to be happening. I'm trying to keep mental notes. There's a lot of... Obviously, with this game being as big as it is. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to pick up. Apparently, spells have crazy requirements. So, you know, it's all good. 
Oh fuck. Okay. You're not a pushover. Is this an NPC? I I think everything is an NPC. I don't know why. And I didn't rest up, did I? Whatever. I'm doing okay, uh, flask-wise. And you're a bitch. This is an awesome area, I gotta admit. Like... The atmosphere of this game is... Excellent. As I've talked about it... Several times. Uh, ivory sickle, picking up so many weapons. Most of these are like dagger type things. What? What the hell? <laughs> All right, chill out. I'm not here to kill you. You're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> I thought there was some treasure in this pot. Me. I... Oh, this is Albus. Kind of weird looking. The whole village is Can notice that. Kind of noticed that as well. Would you look, after this look after this medallion. Halic Tree Secret Medallion, right. Okay, Latena. Latena, okay. Let me just read that. Right half of a split medallion depicting the Halic tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the grand lift of Rold, granting access to a hidden path. In other words, the secret medallion will guide the bearer to the lands of Michaela's Halic tree. Okay. So what's the difference between a Halic tree and an Earth tree? Is it like two different things? The physics on that were very interesting to say the least. What up? Riveting horse combat you're witnessing right here. Yeah, let me just get off. These guys are... What the hell happened to them? They just got like the weird curse. Whatever. Oh, please tell me there's no boss here. Be so screwed. Actually, no, the run back isn't. Oh, I see you. There is a boss here. Omen killer. Fucking dogs too. Capra demon. That's actually the Capra demon. <laughs> It has the same weapon. That's a reference. Oh, from software, you and your references. That's cute. That's very cute. Except he breathes fire. <laughs> I like that. That's. There are callbacks in this game to a lot of previous titles. That was the, the straight up Capra Demon. Okay, here's how we're gonna do this. I am not above sniping the doggos with magic. There's one and there's the other one. Maybe I can just jump attack it. Oh, fuck. Don't miss your jump attack. Oh, damn, you're quick. Shit. He's super quick. I thought he was just gonna like slowly stroll over uh, but that's not the case okay third, third time's the charm there's doggo number one 
question is, can I... We should be good here. Okay. The hard part's over. I think. Alright, Capra. Yeah, that definitely the hard part's over. Maybe not. Fuck the lingering fire. It's a bitch move. There's a fuck, there's a third one. I don't like that. Come on. The tracking too. Can I? Oh, I can horse up. Wait a second. No, no, we're good. We're good. Where are you? Jesus, that is insane. Insane as in I'm in the tracking. Is that all the dogs? Please tell me. Two... Three? Like Artorias. So there is no souls reference you can throw at me that I won't notice. Fuck the damage. Drink. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Holy shit, that was... That was not easy. That was not easy. Crucible. Oh, we got a new talisman. Nice, nice, nice. So is, was this guy like the ringleader who was like fucking shit up? I think he was. What is this talisman? Reduces damage and impact of headshots. Ah. Well, that's kind of lame. I was expecting something... Slightly. Not that that's... Oh, nice. Shouldn't have bought it. Could have gotten one for free. Well, that's cool. Um, Where to next? That's the question. This area is kind of weird in that... It doesn't seem to be a map. But maybe you just gotta approach from... It looks like this is a huge area, like, down here. Like where the cliff is. I'm not sure. Whatever. Um, one more thing to check out. Let's see if we can actually progress the game somehow. Just gonna take a quick look at this. Because I think this is... Like this kind of makes sense for us to progress in. You know? But we just gotta confirm. It seems like the like natural logical path of the game. And then we can always come back here on an Elden Ring exploration. Sorry, horsey. I'm trying to kill you only your boss, but that's not easy to do. This guy has fancy armor. Okay, you hit my horse as well, I guess it's fair. Totally thought I had my shield out. And he's dead. Because I was just about to say, I haven't used these guard counter things in so long. Because we've mainly been fighting mages. But that might just have to change. Don't even think about calling all your buddies. I have a summon of that guy, you know. You guys know. What? Yeah, I was gonna say, I kind of been hinting at it, but... 
Fucking hell, horse combat is very clunky in this game. Uh, you can definitely tell it's their first time trying something like this. That didn't work. It just kind of feels, you know, awkward, I guess. This enemy type was my least favorite in Dark Souls 3 as well. These like big ass knights with the shields too. That buff. How much HP do you have? Not that much, but fucking hell. There's a lot of effort for one guy, believe me. It looks like there's a lot of points of interest on this road. Bellum Church. Let's just stop by. Maybe I won't get through the entire... Like, Looking at the map, this is a fairly lengthy path until... I'm guessing this is what that's where we have to go. So I'm gonna I think pause here because we still have so much to explore in Elden Ring explorations as well. Uh yeah, I think what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of ER. If you did, as always, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I will catch all of you next time as we advance further. Peace out and goodbye.